the last video I showed you how to download fonts from Google Fonts. Now in this video I'm going to show you how we can apply those in Axia RP9. So the default font in Axia RP is Arial. If you manage to install the font on your system, what you can do is select the widget. And similar to when I showed you how to update the widget styles, we go over to the, um, the Inspector pane, the Style tab, and now we're allowed to change our fonts. I've been telling you for weeks not to, now we can. So I will just go to the drop down menu and we will go and find the one I have just installed. Uh, please note, I had to restart my Mac for it to recognize the font in the system. So if it's not showing up, just close down everything, restart your Mac and it will probably show up. So here we go, we've got Merryweather here. Fantastic. And I will update that style so that we'll update all of those. And I'll do the same for the headings up here. Uh, I'll leave the heading three though because I want to show you another uh, way you can do this in a minute. So scrolling down, goodness me, I should have chosen a font starting with A. There we go. And I'll update that. And we'll do the same with these. And I'll just scroll for ages. I could probably type in M or something and it would be quicker, but that's just a little bit too organized for me. Okay, so now we've updated heading one, heading two, and our font to Merriweather. And I've chosen Merriweather because it's a serif font, so we can obviously see the difference between that and Arial. Now, the thing to note is just changing it in here is not enough. This changes it in our workspace so we can see what it will look like. And that is an important thing to do. But if I preview it here, um, it's showing up, but that is because I've got Merryweather installed on my system. If I were to publish this and then test it on another computer, if it didn't have Merryweather installed, you would not see Merryweather. What we need to do is we need to map it to, we need to, sorry, add a web font first and then we need to do font mapping. So how do we do that? We go to publish, generate HTML files, so that's just up the top here. And this is a bit different from Axia 8 where you'd see everything on the, the pop-up. Uh, we need to go to the settings to be able to find it. So you see that little settings symbol, click on that. And you can see we have an option, fonts there. And we need to add our font. And the font is going to be Merriweather. And try and use the same spelling and everything that you've used for the font you've downloaded. Because people where they've you know, said heading or paragraph or whatever, it's caused problems later on. So I'm calling it Merriweather because it's Merriweather. And you see how now it wants the URL of the CSS file. We have to go to Google Fonts and find that. Um, so if I go back to Safari, I'll create a new tab. We'll go to fontsgoogle.com. I will find Merriweather. Add that. Let us have a look here. So what are we looking for? We're looking for a URL. And you can see that in the link we've got that we would normally add in our HTML file, if we were coding this by hand, we have a URL within that. It's what's between these double quote marks. That's all we need. You do not copy the whole um, tag, just the URL within it. So I'm going to go Command C to copy that. Let's jump back to Axia and we paste that in here. There we go. So we've got the fonts are uh, Merriweather. The other thing you need to do is you need to do font mappings, otherwise it won't work. So I click on font mapping, we'll add a font mapping, and we're going to map, and this is gonna seem really redundant, but trust me, it works. We will map Merriweather to Merriweather. And that means any time it sees the font Merriweather in our document, it will go and choose Merriweather 
from that uh, web font we've added and go to that URL and it will access that. That way, if people don't have Meriwether installed on their computer, it's accessing that URL so that the browser can still show Meriwether. And I'm going to click done there. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Remember how we left the heading three as Arial? Well, if you cannot install the font on your system, just say it's got um, protections on there where you don't have the authorization to install it, you can still do font mappings. So I'm going to go font mappings. I'm going to add a new font mapping and I will map Arial to Meriwether. Okay. And so that means anytime it sees Arial, it's actually going to replace that with Meriwether. So I click done and I don't need to click on publish locally. I can just close out of that. Now if I preview, you see how our heading three is no longer in Arial. It is now in Meriwether. So we are confident that this will work on different computers.